Hello, I'm Garvel. This video is on Galvis tablets. So Galvis tablets contain the active ingredient Filda Clipton, which is a type of medicine called a dipeptidyl peptidase 4 inhibitor, or DPP4 for short. It is used to treat type 2 or non-insulin dependent diabetes. So that the primary use is type 2 non-insulin dependent diabetes. So Galvis can be used on its own to improve blood sugar control in people whose blood sugar is not controlled by changes to their diet and exercise alone and who can take metformin, which is glucophage. Galvis is also used for people with type 2 diabetes whose blood sugar is not sufficiently controlled by another anti-diabetic medicine. It can be added to treatment with metformin. A sulfonylurea, for example, a glycoside, or another type of anti-diabetic medicine known as a thiosinidine, or glitazone. For example, pioglitazone, or rosiglitazone. It can also be added to treatment with insulin itself. So how does it work? Galvis tablets contain the active ingredient Vildagliptin, which is a DPP4 inhibitor. So, and it is for non-insulin dependent diabetes. And it works by increasing the amount of two incretin hormones found in the body called glucagon-like peptide 1, or GLP-1, and glucose dependent insulinotropic peptide, or GIP. These hormones are normally produced naturally by the body in response to food intake. Their function is to help control blood sugar, glucose levels. GLP-1 and GIP hormones have two main actions that help to control blood sugar. First, they stimulate the pancreas to produce insulin in response to increasing levels of glucose in the blood. So insulin is the main hormone responsible for controlling sugar levels in the blood. It causes cells in the body to remove sugar from the blood. So GLP-1 also reduces, reduces the production of glucagon. And glucagon is a hormone that normally increases glucose production by the liver. So GLP-1 and GIP are normally broken down by an enzyme in the body called dipeptidyl peptidase 4, or DPP-4. Vildagliptin works by binding to this enzyme and preventing it from breaking down to GLP-1 and GIP. This increases the levels of these hormones in the body and so increases their effect on controlling blood sugar. So I'd, how do I take Galvis? Galvis tablets can be taken either with or without food. They should be swallowed with a drink of water. The dose prescribed and how often to take the medicine depends on how well your blood sugar is controlled and what other medicines you are taking, following the instructions given by your doctor. These will be printed on the dispensing label that your pharmacist has put on the packet of the medicine. If you forget to take a dose of this medicine, take it as soon as you remember, then take the next dose at the usual time. If it is almost time for your next dose, skip the dose you missed. Do not take a double dose to make up for a forgotten tablet earlier. It's used with caution in people with moderate to severely decreased kidney function or having dialysis or kidney failure. People with mild heart failure, and it's not to be used in type 1 diabetes, diabetic ketoacidosis, or people with decreased liver function, pregnancy, breastfeeding. This medicine is not recommended for people with moderate to severe heart failure. And this medicine is not recommended for children and adolescents under 18 years of age because it has not been studied in this age group. This medicine contains lactose and should not be taken by people with rare hereditary problems of galactose intolerance. The lap lactose deficiency or glucose galactose malabsorption. This medicine should not be used if you're allergic to any of its ingredients. So please inform your doctor or pharmacist if you have previously experienced such an allergy. If you feel you have experienced an allergic reaction, stop using this medicine and contact your doctor or pharmacist immediately. For pregnancy and breastfeeding, 
Certain medicines should not be used during pregnancy or breastfeeding. However, other medicines may be safely used in pregnancy or breastfeeding, providing the benefits to the mother outweigh the risks to the unborn baby. Always inform your doctor if you are pregnant or planning a pregnancy before using any medicine. The safety of this medicine for use in pregnancy has not been established. It should not be used during pregnancy. Diabetes mellitus is usually controlled using insulin during pregnancy because this provides a more stable control of blood sugar. If you get pregnant while taking this medicine or planning a pregnancy, you should seek medical advice from your doctor. It is not known if this medicine passes into breast milk. The manufacturer states that it should not be used by breastfeeding mothers. So seek medical advice from your doctor. The side effects. Medicines and their possible side effects can affect individual people in different ways. The following are some of the side effects that are known to be associated with this medicine. Just because the side effect is stated does not mean that all people using this medicine will experience that or any side effect. So those will be nausea, swelling of the legs and ankles due to excess fluid retention, headache, tremor, feeling weak, dizzy, constipated, low blood sugar, when used with metformin, uh, joint pain, inflammation of the nose and throat causing a blocked or runny nose and sore throat, changes in liver function, inflammation of the liver which is hepatitis, inflammation of the pancreas which is pancreatitis, the skin reactions and the side effects that I just mentioned may not include all of the side effects reported by the medicines manufacturer. For more information about any other possible risks associated with this medicine, please read the information provided with the medicine or talk to your doctor or pharmacist for further information. So how can this medicine affect other medicines? It is important to tell your doctor or pharmacist what medicines you are already taking, including those bought without a prescription and herbal medicines before you start treatment with this medicine. Similarly, check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medicines while taking this one. To make sure that the combination is safe, medicines that increase blood sugar levels as a side effect may make this medicine less effective at controlling blood sugar. So medicines that can increase blood sugar levels include the following. Antipsychotic medicines such as chlorpromazine, olanazepine and respiridone. Beta 2 agonists such as salbutamol, which is ventilin, corticosteroids such as prednisolone, glucosamine, estrogens, and progestogens such as those contained in the oral contraceptive, and thiazide diuretics such as bendrofluothiazide. Your doctor may want to monitor your blood sugar if you start or stop treatment with any of these while taking this medicine. And if necessary, your doctor may alter your dose of this medicine. If you have any more questions, please ask your doctor or your pharmacist and remember to keep all medicines out of the reach of children. So for any further information, you can contact me through the Life Pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into the pharmacy in Broaddale in Douglas in Cork. Thank you for watching.